Welcome, my friend, to another edition of Check 6 Aviation, this time on the road. First of all, it was time for an update because it's been a while since I've posted a video, so yeah. So three cool things. First of all, what's going on with the RV-10? Second, what's going on with the house? And third, a cool way for you to be rewarded for helping out the channel. First of all, I thought about the RV-10 and after looking into things as far as what, uh, flight testing and everything, well, and initially I thought that I would be able to use the plane that I have just built to do my flying lessons in. The answer to that is yes and no. I would have to be a, certificate, a certified pilot or hire someone to fly my air my airplane it kind of it's a flight testing thing you know it's it's actually in the rules that a an experimental amateur home built aircraft has to go through a flight test uh, for the first 40 hours of its life uh, of course to work out all the bugs and no passengers during that time so that put a little kink in my original thought process but it also reignited the desire to get my pilot's license anyway. It actually pushed up the, the time frame to get my pilot's license. So that's where we're at now. I'm actually, while I'm getting the, all the tools together for the RV-10 build, I've restarted my flying lessons. As a matter of fact, the next video or two will be the flight lesson number two video where I tell you, you know, where I reveal, did I get a certified flight instructor or did I get a drill sergeant? Uh, I've got a whole bunch of unboxing videos that I'm working on putting together. So that's where we're at there. Uh, next flight lesson is going to be actually flying lesson number four and five. Flying lesson number one, I couldn't get my GoPro to work. I didn't, you know, it's, it's a new thing to me, so. Uh, flying lesson number two, complete surprise. I actually got some footage, so that's what I'm going to show you. Flying lesson number three, I thought I had my GoPro recording, but alas, ooh, denied. Did not record anything except for the footage that I had going up to the airplane. So, uh, as you see here. But anyway, so that's where we're at now. We're, yeah, I've got videos coming up uh the house so the house is on hold because we applied for a mortgage and well i didn't get approved we didn't get approved but we've got a few other avenues that we're exploring uh some some other charitable organizations for mortgages if plan b doesn't pan out then we're going to plan c and saving up and paying cash for the house and putting it on the lot which in the long run would actually save us a lot of money and a lot of hassle which brings me to the third thing which go is going on with the rv10 build because they do directly connect together so to save up about a hundred grand with that with putting the house on the lot and also building the garage slash airplane factory would take about three to four years i calculate so i, I just don't want to wait that long to get start getting this kit so Originally, I had planned on building a shed, a, a small a workshop large enough to build the plane on the property that we're renting. Well, because of I'm impatient and uh, I know you guys want to see this build. Uh, I'm, I'm actually just going to go ahead and bite the bullet and get in touch with my landlord and say, hey, listen, I want to build, the, build a workshop slash shed on your property. I know you've already given me permission from before, but at that time, I think we were both thinking that it would be a temporary structure. I want to make it a permanent one and just leave it there for as a thank you to you to for renting to us for the years that we've been here so far and to add a little bit of value to the property because I, I, I do believe in leaving things better than what you found it in. So. That's where we're at. So 
Uh, by the way, I've got social media links down below. And speaking of social media, you'll notice that this is the very first video that I'm premiering some new animation, giving the channel a little bit of, more, uh, of higher production value. That was done by my good friend, Brian Spector. If you find that you need or know someone that needs you know, animation done for their channel, he is a, an excellent graphic artist. Uh, the social media link for him to reach out to him is below as well. Uh, also, the uh, template for uh, all of my yeah my thumbnails going forward was done by my good friend Rocky Vega. Social media and website link for him is down below. So on to number three of how you can be rewarded for supporting the channel. Well, you see right here this shirt. It is yours automatically when you become a top tier, a member of my Patreon flight crew. After three months of being part of the flight crew, it will be sent to you automatically. And there's a whole bunch of other things that the cabin crew and the ground crew will be available to participate in. There's voting rights. There's also, uh, you know, chat uh, you know, to connect, to, to build community. But it would be greatly appreciated. It would help uh, defer the costs for equipment. Also for, you know, the, the content production value that goes into the channel. Also, there's some other cool perks along that, you know, just go to the page, you know, see the link is right here. I'll also put the link down in the description. If you haven't already, Give the thumbs up on this video. It really does help out the channel. And be sure to hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell so you don't miss any content that I post in the future. Uh, and by all means, always remember to check your six. I wish you wellness, prosperity, and blue skies. Peace.